more news around China's opening up and uh, possible end to zero COVID um, while the policy in itself is still being adjusted. And as I always say, two steps forward, one step back. We should um, uh, expect some setbacks. But um, over the weekend, we had more news actually of more cities opening up. Um, we had uh, news around uh, less testing being done. And so, you know, less testing means less cases. So that's also helping to limit the fear against this virus, which is still the struggle that I've discussed um, in previous videos for the government uh, in this pivot of um, yeah from away from uh, zero COVID. And now we have another important piece of this puzzle, I would say, regarding a nasal spray for COVID-19 vaccine, uh, because China obviously is facing this issue now. Um, if they decide to open up at some point in time or gradually in the next coming months, then uh, they're still facing the issue that some people, of course, will get COVID and they have a large population that is vulnerable to the virus and um, is old enough to, um, yeah, statistically um, having issues with this virus. And therefore, the issue is um, not only might people going to die, but also it may cause issues to the healthcare system. So this is why this news might be interesting. That's actually just come coming in um, tonight uh, in Hong Kong. And um, yeah, there seems to be a so-called historic breakthrough here. Um, that this um, uh, vaccine has actually been given the green light uh, not only for Hong Kong but also for the mainland use and uh, that's an emergency use case here um, that is being granted and um, the interesting part here I would say is the, the way this vaccine works um, so um, it is um, first of all not um, the only way of vaccinating so they are still um, sticking to their traditional way of uh, vaccinating people um, but as I've shown there is uh, lots of has um, yeah, people who are hesitating to get the vaccination due to various re reasons some of them might be culturally um, so TCM is playing a big role in China people are fearing um, some effects that um, negative effects on their health that the vaccine may have um, and also you know they had this kind of social contract under zero COVID um, that um, basically the young get vaccinated and there are getting tested and everything and so the elderly don't have to prote protect themselves so this kind of this collectivistic mindset if you will and now, um, yeah, this vaccine is um, supposedly having an 80% effectiveness against Omicron for those who already uh, got some shots of this inactivated vaccine. So that's a traditional, the Sinovac uh, vaccine, for example, which I've told you in the last video has similar um, efficacy actually than the mRNA vaccines um, if given three shots. But the issue is not all of them have got uh, the, those three shots. And now this um, vaccine, this new vaccine here, also has a 55% effect, um, effective rate for the unvaccinated population. And therefore, it is you know, used as an alternative or as an addition, I would say. And um, the interesting part here is that, um, that by entering the body the same way as the virus, the, this nasal vaccine aims to build immunity in the um, membrane that line um, in the nose and the mouth and this could block people from getting infected in the first place and potentially also prevent people um, who contracted uh, COVID-19 from infecting others. So the interesting thing here is that um, it is um, getting systematic immunity not in the blood but in the nasal and throat um, and so uh, this way it's working in a different way that I think might be more acceptable to those people um, in mainland China that are still that until now have refused to get vaccinated. Um, and now they see, of course, cases are going up and uh, the policy is shifting. So, you know, some of them might be panicking and uh, thinking like, how can they you know, get out of this situation in a way? And so this is why um, this, uh, this solution might be an, an uh, important puzzle piece in the end, I would say. And um, the only thing is, like, um, how much can this really help? Um, let me see. I think there was in this article that they are planning to roll out exactly around 200 million doses in the next six months. So you see, uh, simply by those uh, numbers, um, that's maybe not enough and early enough. Um, that's simply the mistake that China has made that they haven't 
um, you know, prepared these measures um, before actually being kind of now forced by the protests now and by the economic um, issues to open up. And so, um, yeah, this will be just one part of the puzzle piece of getting the job done. Um, but uh, in my point of view, it might be actually a quite important one and possibly yeah, helping them on this issue around a uh, overwhelmed uh, medical system if everything works out. So fingers crossed that with that we can um, get more and more positive news around um, easing of regulations because simply this enables them to do so all the while that there will not be hopefully an overflow of the medical system. So that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.